Yeah, a photo actually, and it comes from Amarillo, the zoo in Texas. Nana, what is that? They haven't reposted or given us any idea of what they thought they caught in those photographs. Today, we're going on a deep dive into the strangest and most terrifying things found in our planet from mermaids to forest creatures and even ghosts captured on camera. Our experts have scoured the internet, cataloging the most haunting and unexplained encounters in the world. Let's dive in and get ready to experience some spine-tingling, nail-biting moments because these are the terrifying things found on our planet. Hide behind. What'd you the see? Is that? What? Well, what? It's behind that tree. Nana, what is that? Let's travel to Glide, Oregon, where a family has just recorded one of the most terrifying and haunting videos you've ever seen. What makes this so scary, however, is more about the alleged creature caught in the video than the terror it induced from the family. The video, originally posted on TikTok, shows a dark humanoid figure lurking in the woods. Some say it could be a bear, while others believe it may be the elusive hide-behind creature. Known for its slim, terrifying appearance, sharp claws and bright yellow eyes, the hide-behind is said to be one of the most feared creatures in the woods. According to many, this hide-behind creature is known to be fast, devoid of any light, and has a penchant for disemboweling its victims. It's not clear what the family in the video found lurking in the woods that day, but it's safe to say they won't be venturing into the woods anytime soon. While some viewers commented saying it simply seemed to be a human hiding behind the tree and peering out at the camera, others pointed out that if it was a person, they would not be completely void of light, making this video all the more unsettling. After all, pranks like this are usually very easily distinguishable, and they often have people laughing, but this video has caused anyone who's watched it to feel their heart skip a beat. So the next time you find yourself in the woods, be sure to keep an eye out for any unusual and terrifying creatures hiding in the shadows, because you never know what you might find lurking between the trees. Bobbit Worms. Deep on the ocean floor, the sand striker or bobbit worm waits. While the name bobbit worm might sound cute at first, these horrifying looking creatures are anything but. Often found in polar and tropical regions, bobbit worms are marine predators that bury themselves in sand or gravel, using their bone-hard jaws to trap and slice their prey. Despite their small size, these worms can reach lengths equivalent to a human's arm and can move quickly at 20 feet per second. And while they are not considered dangerous to humans, accidentally stepping on one can result in a painful and potentially potentially dangerous wound. But even if you manage to avoid them in the ocean, just the thought of these creatures lurking beneath the surface is enough to send shivers down your spine. These creatures are bizarre enough to make anyone think twice about ever going for a swim in the ocean again. Piraruku. Rivers are home to all things terrifying, creepy, and unnerving, but it's easy to forget that oceans aren't the only things home to apex predators. Meet the Piraruku or the Arapaima, the ancient air-breathing giant fish found in the Amazon River. This fish, one of the largest freshwater fishes in the world, grows up to 10 feet in length and can weigh up to a whopping 485 pounds. Despite being an important source of protein for locals living along the river, the Piraruku's population has decreased due to overfishing. While that's the case, it's not like this gigantic fish hasn't gotten its revenge. In 2009, there were reports of a piraruku of similar size causing the drownings of two men in Kuala Barang, Malaysia. It's been reported to have powerful jaws and to be able to crush its prey with its tongue, which is littered with razor-sharp teeth. Some people might say the ocean is scarier, but we definitely wouldn't want to come face-to-face -face with a 10-foot fish in a river either. While this fish is an important protein source for those living along the river, maybe Maybe those living along the river are also an important protein source for the fish. Thames Monster. Have a look at this piece of film or something in the Thames. Let's travel to the Thames River in the heart of London, where sightings of a mysterious creature have sparked speculation of a possible Thames Nessie. In 2016, a video surfaced of a strange, unidentified creature swimming in the river, leaving experts and scientists stumped. Some have speculated it could be a whale, a pod of porpoises, or maybe even a trick of the camera. However, the recent sightings of a dark shape moving through the water and another strange object near the Thames flood barrier have reignited the speculation of a possible 
impossible monster lurking beneath the surface. Could this be London's version of the Loch Ness Monster? Or is it just another unknown species waiting to be discovered? A few weeks before the supposed sighting of the Thames Monster, wildlife experts admitted they were baffled by another video of a huge mass with two humps emerging from the river near the O2. No one knows for sure what these creatures could be, but one thing is for certain. The Thames River holds many secrets that are yet to be unraveled. If these repeated sightings of a river monster lurking beneath the surface of the Thames aren't enough to give you chills, then maybe the unknown and the possibility of what else could be living in the river will. Bigfoot. Next up, let's travel to the Ohio woods, where two hikers claim to have spotted a Bigfoot creature while walking through the Salt Fork State Park. The hikers posted a video on YouTube where they can be heard saying they believe they may have found the elusive Bigfoot while hearing strange noises in the woods. They even reported finding a lot of hair and bones probably from deer and used a drone to try and locate the creature. The alleged Bigfoot can be seen strolling between trees in the winter, but some viewers have mocked the video as being fake. With over 36 reported sightings in the Salt Fork State Park since the 1980s, this area has become somewhat of a hotspot for Bigfoot enthusiasts. And while some may dismiss this sighting as a prank or a hoax, the hikers in the video are convinced they saw something out of the ordinary that day in the woods. So the next time you take a hike through the Ohio woods, keep your eyes peeled for any signs of Bigfoot lurking between the trees. Even in the video, a bizarre howling can be heard as the hikers try to capture the creature on film. Of course, some critics mocked the video as being one of the best best fakes out there, while others called into question the authenticity of the sighting. But is it really fake? Or did these two hikers stumble upon something truly terrifying in the woods? You'll have to decide for yourself. Greenland Mermaid There are many strange and bizarre things that we have yet to discover under the depths of the ocean, and this video footage captured by a submarine crew showcases one of these mysterious creatures. The video shows a mermaid-like creature with a webbed hand and a haunting, inhuman face knocking on the glass of a mini-sub in the Greenland Sea. The crew is left stunned as they try to capture the creature on camera, ultimately leaving viewers to question whether this was a mermaid, an alien, or an elaborate hoax. Regardless of the explanation, this video is enough to send chills down your spine and make you question what else might be lurking in the unexplored parts of our seas. When experts reviewed the footage, they concluded that the only way this could have been faked was if it wasn't filmed deep underwater. So the question remains, is this really a mermaid or something else entirely? The sea is mysterious and full of surprises, so who knows what else might be waiting for us to discover? Ball and chain. We're not quite done with the horrors of the Thames quite yet, because as one of the oldest and most historic rivers in the world, it has seen its fair share of mysteries. In 2009, two men were scouring the banks of the river when they stumbled upon a rusty iron ball and chain. And not just any ball and chain, but one that still had the leg iron locked on, suggesting a gruesome fate for its wearer. Experts believe the ball and chain, dated back to the 17th or 18th century, belonged to a prisoner who may have drowned while trying to escape. The fact that the iron was of high quality suggests that it wasn't just carelessly thrown away, but instead that something tragic happened to the wearer. Unless the ball and chain were somehow cut free from the prisoner, it's likely that it was thrown into the river with its wearer still attached, sinking to the bottom of the Thames and remaining there, hidden for centuries. Whoever the mysterious prisoner was, he most likely drowned, only later to be eaten by the crabs living in the riverbed. Rivers may seem beautiful and tranquil, but sometimes a dark, sinister past lies just beneath the water's surface. Gallic ship. Let's travel to the River Seine, where Arthur Forget made one of the most exciting discoveries of his treasure hunting career. Forget was a notorious antique seller in the mid-1800s who made a name for himself by searching the river for valuable objects. However, one find stood out above the rest, an entire Gallic ship dating back to the beginning of Paris itself. The ship was found near the tip of the Ile de la Cité, holding pieces of history that were thousands of years old. This discovery provided a glimpse into the daily life 
lives of the people who lived in Paris centuries ago, and it remains one of the most significant archaeological finds in the city's history. While the ancient vessel itself wasn't particularly terrifying, the horrific story that the sailors no doubt experienced is enough to give chills to even the bravest of explorers. The thought of what other long-lost ships, treasures, and secrets might be hidden in the depths of the River Seine can truly send shivers down anyone's spine. Goatman to see a creature that looks half man and half goat when they visit the bridge at night. There are many bizarre and strange legends that surround the woods of Maryland and Texas, but none quite as horrifying and thrilling as the story of the goat man. People came here and called it folklore, and the papers made us out to be ignorant hillbillies who didn't know any better, said April Edwards, who claims to have witnessed the beast herself. The goat man is said to be a half man, half goat creature that stalks the woods, preying on unsuspecting victims. It's origins are shrouded in mystery, with some claiming it is the result of a mad scientist's experiment gone wrong, while others believe it to be a vengeful goat farmer, or even just a devil in the flesh. Regardless of its origin, the Goatman is a terrifying creature to encounter in the dark woods and has been a staple of American urban legends for decades. Whether it's real or simply a figment of the imagination, the legend of the Goatman continues to fascinate and scare those who dare to venture into the woods. In one instance, a young woman by the name of April Edwards found her puppy stolen and decapitated and later noticed a strange figure lurking on the edge of her property. While critics have questioned how the goat man would still be alive after all these years, locals insist that he is still out there waiting for his next victim. The legends alone are frightening enough to make even the most hardcore skeptic look over their shoulder if they find themselves alone in the woods at night. Goblin Sharks Out in the deep the hunters look even stranger, a goblin shark. While goblin sharks have become much more famous nowadays with their appearances in movies and documentaries, they still remain one of the most feared and fascinating creatures in the ocean. These deep sea dwellers are known for their long bodies, sharp teeth, and ability to attack at an impressive speed of 10 feet per second. With their prehistoric appearance and elusive nature, it is no wonder why these creatures are often the stuff of nightmares. They typically live at depths of at least 4,260 65 feet, meaning they are rarely seen by humans. And when they do make rare appearances, it is often in a terrifying and shocking manner. So while we may be fascinated by these creatures, it is important to remember that they are still wild and dangerous animals lurking in the dark depths of the ocean. If you ever encounter one, just make sure you don't blink, because it could be the last thing you see. Soviet tank. <laughs> Let's travel to Russia, where divers and military experts came together to make an astonishing discovery from the depths of the Don River. In 2016, the fully intact Wugyu T-34 Soviet tank was recovered from the river after sitting at the bottom for over 60 years. It was a remarkable find, as these tanks were typically destroyed in battles with Germany. This tank was entirely intact, almost as if it had been placed there yesterday. Even more eerily, there were no bodies found inside the tank, despite it being fully operational. This discovery provides a window into a time long gone and raises many questions. How did it end up in the river? Who was operating it? If no bodies were found in the tank, could it be that the tank somehow came to rest in this river by entering some sort of time portal where it could have been pulled out into the future? Whatever the explanation is, this Soviet tank pulled from the depths of the Don River remains a mystery and a chilling reminder of the horrors of war. The tank, seemingly completely unharmed, just goes to show that rivers hold many secrets secrets, and not all of them have been revealed yet. Bodies. Discovery of the torso of a young African boy floating in the River Thames in London. The River Thames is one of the most beautiful and tranquil rivers ever, but it's also a place you should never, ever swim. Every week, the remains of at least one person are discovered floating in the Thames. In 2001, the torso of a young boy was found near the Tower Bridge, with his arms and legs cut off and traces of poison in his system. Police determined that this was a ritual killing, and the victim was thought to have been part of a human trafficking ring. This haunting discovery, 
along with hundreds of other bodies found in the Thames over the years, serves as a reminder of the dark side of human nature and the mysteries that still lie hidden in the river. It's a chilling thought that someone could be peacefully walking alongside the river one day and suddenly stumble upon a body, a victim of violence, a tragic accident, or other unknown circumstances. In another case, a body was found in the River Thames that was mutilated and missing its hands and feet, leading to speculation of yet another ritual and foul play. While most of these discoveries are reported as suicides, there are still some cases that remain unsolved and continue to haunt the local community. Until we can identify him and his family, we will act as his family, said Commander Andy Baker in an attempt to humanize one of the many victims found within the river. Devil Dog. A chupacabra in North Carolina, right? Oh, you know, I wish it was something as exciting as a chupacabra. Let's travel to North Carolina, where a mysterious and spooky creature was caught on camera in the backwoods. Some people have dubbed it the chupacabra due to its eerie appearance, but state wildlife officials believe it may just be a coyote with a skin condition called mange. But don't let its explanation fool you, because the creature still looks like something out of a horror movie with its thin hair, bony body, and long tail. This has caused quite a stir for those who believe in the existence of a chupacabra, a mythical monster dog with vampire-like qualities. The photo was taken as part of the North Carolina Candid Critters program, which captures images of animals roaming the state's wooded areas at night. What makes it even scarier is that even though the official explanation is that it's simply a coyote suffering from mange, there are still doubts and speculation as to whether it could be a real chupacabra lurking in the woods. Even the experts on the case have admitted that they're not entirely sure this horrifying-looking creature with glowing eyes is just a sick coyote. Chupacabras, which are supposedly Hispanic Bigfoot-like creatures, are still fairly new to the world of monster myths, only going back about 30 years in Puerto Rico. But with sightings and alleged evidence popping up in the Carolinas, it's hard to deny the possibility of a chupacabra's existence. Chimera. Chimera was a fire-breathing hybrid of a lion, a goat, and a snake. In Greek mythology, the infamous Chimera was a fearsome beast with a lion's head and body, a goat's head protruding from its back, and a serpent's tail. It was known for its ability to breathe fire and cause destruction wherever it roamed. But in the real world, the Chimera is a deep sea creature, also known as a ghost shark, ratfish, spookfish, or rabbitfish. These strange looking animals are closely related to sharks, skates, and rays, but they diverged from their shark relatives around 400 million years ago. They have unique characteristics characteristics such as upper jaws fused to their skulls, four gills with one external opening, and three pairs of large permanent grinding tooth plates. Despite their mythological name, chimera are not dangerous to humans. The only terrifying thing about these bizarre creatures is their strange and otherworldly appearance, which is enough to leave you wondering if they're actually from this planet at all. Crocodile. Let's take a trip down to France, where the romantic and famous Seine River is home to more than just lovely boat rides and picturesque views. In 1984, the crocodile scene around Paris caused quite the scare, as sanitation workers going about their duties discovered a 31-inch Nile crocodile crawling around near the popular Pont Neuf Bridge. It's still unknown how the fearsome reptile ended up in the city's sewer system, but it likely spent several months living there before being discovered and taken to a nearby aquarium. This alarming discovery has sparked rumors of other terrifying creatures lurking in the Seine, including snapping turtles, snakes, and dangerous paku fish, known for supposedly attacking human genitals. Whether these rumors are true or not, the thought of sharing the tranquil waters of the Seine with deadly creatures is enough to give anyone nightmares. Maybe stick to taking photos and enjoying a relaxing boat ride instead of taking a dip in this French river. If you end up in the water, just try not to freak out if something large and covered in scales brushes past your legs. Texas Zoo Creature. Yeah, a photo, actually, and it comes from Amarillo, the zoo in Texas. Let's take a trip down to the Amarillo Zoo in Texas, where a mysterious creature has been caught on camera. Is it a person with a strange hat, a large coyote on its hind legs, or could it possibly be the legendary chupacabra? Named the unidentified Amarillo object by the city, this strange image was captured by security cameras in the woods outside of the zoo. And while the city has asked for help in identifying the creature, no one has been able to offer a conclusive 
explanation yet. Some say it could be a hoax or a trick of the light, while others believe it could be a real unknown creature lurking in the woods. While it's almost certainly not a chupacabra, as these devilish creatures aren't known to stand upright, some people claim it could be some sort of goblin with an almost wolfman-like appearance. Some have likened this creature to either a werewolf or Dobby from the Harry Potter series. Whatever it may be, one thing is for sure. This mysterious image leaves us with more questions than answers. The authenticity of the footage is verified as well, since this was taken and posted by city officials. Whatever it is in this footage, there's one thing for sure. This creature is very real and is lurking in the woods outside of the Amarillo Zoo. Antarctic Strawberry? discover a new species lurking in the depths of the southern ocean. This is the Antarctic strawberry feather star. It might be dubbed the Antarctic strawberry due to its Latin name, but this deep sea creature is far from a tasty treat. Scientists were shocked when they discovered this new species with its unique strawberry-shaped body and 20 arms during their research expeditions near Antarctica. It's just one of seven new species identified as part of the Promacocrinus family, adding to the total number of known Antarctic feather stars species. This discovery serves as a reminder that our oceans are full of unexplored wonders, and there may be even more bizarre and unknown creatures lurking in the depths. Unnervingly, this creature looks about as far from a strawberry as you can imagine, with its 20 uncanny arms being nightmare fuel for any normal human being. This strange creature is just one example of the fascinating and eerie sights that exist in the ocean, but it's also something that even the bravest deep-sea diver would probably like to stay clear of. Hunger Stones. A years-long drought can devastate communities and ecosystems, but it can also reveal long-forgotten secrets. Let's travel across Europe, where more and more eerie sights are being uncovered from the riverbeds. As droughts continue to worsen, European rivers are shrinking, revealing strange markings on rocks. These are known as hunger stones, and they were placed in rivers during the 15th to 19th centuries as a warning to future generations, engraved with phrases such as, if you see me weep. These stones were meant to mark periods of famine and warn of the consequences of drought. These haunting landmarks serve as a reminder of the hardships and struggles that people have faced in the past and the potential for similar challenges in the future. It's a chilling reminder of the power and unpredictability of nature and a warning to take care of our planet before it's too late. Who knows what other messages and secrets could be hidden beneath the waters of European rivers waiting for the next drought to be revealed. These stones were carved ages ago but contain warnings for the people of the future. Warnings that will undoubtedly prove true true as climate change continues to impact our world. According to a study team in 2013, the stones are engraved with the chiseled years of hardship and the initials of authors lost to history. These haunting engravings bring to life the struggles and suffering of those who faced famine and hardship during these times, reminding us of the importance of cherishing the resources we have and taking care of our planet for future generations. Brazilian Werewolf Let's travel to a small town in Brazil, Sao Goncalo de Campos, where residents are in full panic mode after the appearance of a werewolf. According to reports, a nighttime curfew has been imposed after a surge in werewolf sightings, and residents are being urged to stay indoors after dark for their own safety. The fear and hysteria were triggered by a video that surfaced, showing a creature that resembled a werewolf creeping through a backyard. The footage captured by a security camera is grainy and not very clear, but it was enough to terrify the entire town. However, some skeptics immediately pointed out that it could be a person in a bear suit or a chimpanzee, while others believe it could be something completely otherworldly. One eyewitness claims to have encountered the werewolf up close and barely escaped with their life. They described the being as a tall, hairy creature in the process of transformation, and it was enough to send chills down anyone's spine. What makes this story even more terrifying is that it's not an isolated incident. The werewolf has been spotted multiple times in the town. Whatever it may be, it's it's clear that the residents of Sao Goncalo de Campos are living in fear, with some even demanding that government officials take action to capture the creature. Until then, the nighttime curfew remains in place, and the terrifying werewolf roams the streets, making this small Brazilian town a living horror movie. UFO Fragments
a group of researchers at Harvard University think they may have found alien technology here on Earth. Who would expect to find alien technology and materials at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean? Well, that's exactly what Harvard professor Avi Loeb and his team found during their recent expedition. The discovery of these tiny spheres, believed to be unlike any known alloys on Earth, could potentially be proof of extraterrestrial life. As scientists continue to study these fragments, the possibility of aliens having visited our planet becomes even more intriguing. The ocean is full of mysteries, and this could be one of the biggest yet. Could this be the first tangible evidence of life beyond our planet? One thing is for certain, and that's the fact that these bizarre little spheres aren't like anything we've seen before. The researchers who discovered these objects are convinced that they're not from our solar system, which would mean only one thing, and that's the fact that they come from somewhere far beyond our reach. With this discovery, the possibilities of what lies beneath the ocean's surface become even more exciting and frightening. Bone Graveyard. So we're at the American River, and this shit looks like a spine, dead ass. Let's travel to the American River, where a TikTok user has just discovered a spine-tingling, no pun intended, discovery. So we're at the American River, and this looks like a spine, said Anna Arias, as she picked up the chain of bones that were resting in the water. Plenty of people go swimming in rivers to cool down, relax, and enjoy the great outdoors, but finding a spine and holding it up for all to see is definitely not the norm. The river has a long-standing reputation as one of the spookiest places in Sacramento, with numerous reports of creepy occurrences, ghost sightings, and of course, bodies being discovered. Fortunately, Arias and her friends were just fine, but this unnerving discovery serves as a reminder that not everything that lies beneath the surface is something we want to find. Whether it was a prank or a stray bone from a nearby cemetery, it's always best to be cautious when swimming in rivers and to keep an eye out for anything out of the ordinary. Apparently, two bodies were found near this river in the past few months, so it's clear that not all is well in its waters. And with the spooky video that Arias posted gaining thousands of views and comments, it's a safe bet that the American River will continue to be a source of horror and intrigue for years to come. Mystery Monster. A strange clip posted to TikTok might just prove the existence of Bigfoot or even werewolves. The footage taken in the woods shows a dark and mysterious figure running across the property on all fours. The creature appears to have shaggy hair and a wolf-like muzzle, leaving viewers questioning what exactly it could be. Some believe it could be a werewolf, while others think it may be the elusive Bigfoot or Sasquatch. The video has sparked a heated debate online, with some commenting that they have seen similar creatures in their own backyards. Whether this is a real sighting of a mysterious creature or just a cleverly made hoax, it's clear that the woods still hold many secrets and unexplained sightings that will continue to intrigue and terrify us for years to come. With the video captioned, Werewolf or Sasquatch, it seems that we may never know for sure what this creature truly is, adding to the mystery and fear surrounding the woods and what lurks within. According to some cryptid experts who weighed in on the footage, the creature's strides and body shape seem similar to that of an ape, leaving leaving the possibility open that this could be a yet-to-be-discovered species. While other users believed it to be a werewolf, it's clear that whatever this mystery creature was, it has left a lasting impression on those who have seen the video and they'll most likely never feel safe in the woods again. Bermuda Triangle it's one of the most dangerous and mysterious places on Earth. While it's not exactly an underwater discovery, the Bermuda Triangle does solidly rest in the ocean, making it a truly frightening phenomenon. Located off the coast of Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda, the Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, has been the site of mysterious disappearances of ships and planes for centuries. While some attribute the disappearances to supernatural forces, others believe the Bermuda Triangle is simply a victim of bizarre weather patterns and rough ocean conditions. There have been so many ships, airplanes, and various other crafts that have gone missing in this area that it has become one of the world's most famous and terrifying unsolved mysteries. Despite numerous theories and investigations, the Bermuda Triangle continues to be a place of fear and intrigue, making it one of the scariest things in the ocean. There would be nothing more terrifying than venturing into the center of this infamous triangle. Shock Attack
While a 16-foot-long shark might not exactly qualify as Jaws, it's still a terrifying discovery for anyone to realize that sometimes shark-proof cages aren't as shark-proof as you'd expect. Meet Jimmy Partington, a diver who was filming for a documentary when he had a close encounter with a great white shark. Sitting in a plexiglass tank, Jimmy got a little too close for comfort when a curious shark decided to ram and eventually break through the tank. The footage, captured by another camera, shows the terrifying encounter as the shark charges at the tank with incredible force. Luckily, Jimmy was able to narrowly dodge the jaws of the shark, avoiding a potentially fatal attack. If the shark had been any more accurate, Jimmy's fate might have been very different. There's no question that this horrifying and terrifying footage pointed to one discovery that nobody could see coming, and that's the fact that these shark-resistant cages aren't always shark-proof. So next time you're thinking about getting up close and personal with some of the ocean's most feared creatures, maybe think twice and make sure your protection is up to par. Aaron Foster and Amp Jeremy Bechtel. But while we're here in town, there is another spot that I heard of that Jeremy liked to fish at. So let's pack up head over to that spot and shoot some sonar over there. Rivers are home to many terrifying things, from hidden creatures to horrifying discoveries. In 2000, two teens, Aaron Foster and Jeremy Bechtel, disappeared from Sparta, Tennessee, without a trace. Despite extensive searches and investigations, no evidence was found until 22 years later, when YouTube diver Jeremy Bo Sides found a vehicle belonging to one of the teens using sonar technology in the Calf Killer River. The car was located along the road leading to Foster's home, adding even more mystery to their disappearance. After the bodies were discovered, they were finally laid to rest, bringing closure to their families and the community. The case remains open, with no signs of foul play, leaving many to wonder what truly happened to the young couple and how their car ended up in the river. Sides uses sonar technology on his YouTube channel to solve missing person cases, but even with modern technology, there are still secrets that reside within the depths of rivers. I'm lost for words. I'm so glad I could find them. I'm so sad that that's where they ended up. Yeah. I don't know. I just, it's, it's a weird mix of emotions. I couldn't even, I can't even explain it. I can't believe it's been over 20 years that they've been sitting there waiting for someone to find them, Side said in his emotional video. And while this tragic discovery is terrifying enough on its own, it also serves as a reminder of just how many secrets our rivers hold, some of which are very much alive. Grey Lady. Let's travel to Clumber Park, a heavily wooded area in Nottinghamshire, England, where a dog-walking couple thought they were going for a peaceful evening stroll with their pups, but instead encountered something truly chilling. As they were walking, they suddenly spotted a creepy, demon-like figure crawling towards them in the dark. Luckily, the couple managed to capture the entire encounter on camera, and the video has since gone viral, leaving viewers shocked and frightened. Some have speculated that the figure could be the infamous Grey Lady, who is said to haunt Clumber Park. According to legend, the Grey Lady was once a wealthy woman who lived in the park and was tragically burned alive in a fire. Some say she still roams the woods, searching for her lost family and causing fear for anyone who crosses her path. The figure in the video bears a striking resemblance to the Grey Lady, making many believe that this could be a rare sighting of the ghostly spirit. Regardless of whether it was the Grey Lady or not, one thing is for sure. This is one dog walk that the couple will never forget, with even their dog Dogs freaking out about the scary, shadowy figure that crossed their path, it's safe to say that Clumber Park may not be the most peaceful place for an evening stroll. Alien Creature Next, let's travel to Australia, where a hiker stumbled upon what can only be described as an alien-like creature. The hiker was out in the woods of Mount Nebo in Morton Bay when he came across this bizarre-looking thing. It emitted a sickly smell of rotting corpses, which the hiker mentioned was hard to describe but was noticeable from about one meter away. The creature was covered in flies, adding a creepy element to its appearance. Many were quick to identify the growth as a type of stinkhorn mushroom known for its pungent odor. Despite Despite this, however, other users were more unsure about whether or not this was a natural occurrence, with some even comparing it to something out of a horror movie or video game. One thing is for sure, this alien-like creature has definitely left an impression on anyone who sees it, making us wonder what other mysterious and strange things may be hiding in the woods. While it's possible it's just a rare and unique mushroom, the lingering questions and eerie vibes surrounding this creature only add to the terrifying aura of the woods. 
Northern Stargazer. Why, that's like a stargazer. Something really poisonous. No, the Northern Stargazer is not some mythical sea monster, but it sure looks like one. This unusual fish is capable of emitting an electric shock through its eyes, making it a feared predator in the eastern United States. Not only does it have a shocking defense mechanism, but it also has a creepy appearance with eyes on top of its head and a wide, gaping mouth full of sharp teeth. As if that wasn't enough to give you nightmares, the Northern Stargazer burrows itself in the sand to camouflage and ambush unsuspecting prey. While this fish is not a deadly threat to humans, its appearance and unique abilities definitely earn it a spot on our list of terrifying things found in the ocean. If you come across this fish on your next trip to the beach, it's best to admire it from a safe distance. Even the northern stargazer can hurt or injure an unexpected victim with its electric shocks. Giant squid. To 1,000 strong, each one can grow as long as a person and weigh up to 100 pounds. For many years, scientists believed that the giant squid was a legend similar to the kraken. However, in 2006, a team of researchers captured and documented the first ever live footage of this massive creature. With tentacles reaching up to 40 feet in length and a weight of up to 1,100 pounds, the giant squid is a truly intimidating sight. But what makes this creature even more terrifying is its ability to shoot out bioluminescent light-producing chemicals as a defense mechanism. This makes the giant squid a formidable predator in the deep ocean, where it targets prey such as fish, sharks, and even other squid species. With its sheer size and eerie appearance, the giant squid definitely deserves its spot on our list of terrifying things found in the ocean. And who knows, with so much of the ocean still uncharted, there may be even larger undiscovered giant squid lurking in the depths waiting to be discovered, like the kraken. The Ogwa and I saw what looked like it was, it was a circle, it was big. While there are many examples of river monsters that terrify communities across the globe, one of the longest-lived legends comes from the Monongahela River in West Virginia. According to the legend, the Ogwa is an aquatic monster that lives in the river and preys on unsuspecting deer that come to drink. Its appearance is described as having two heads, resembling a turtle and measuring 15 feet long. The legend has been around since the late 1700s and has been used to warn visitors of the dangers lurking in the unknown wilderness. While many Many dismiss the Ogwa as a myth. There have been sightings and unexplained attacks that continue to fuel the legend. Some believe that it could be an unknown species of water creature, while others think it may have been a misidentified alligator or giant snapping turtle. Regardless of what it may actually be, the legend of the Ogwa lives on and continues to instill fear in those who venture near the Monongahela River. So, if you ever find yourself near this West Virginia River, be sure to keep an eye out for the Ogwa and other mysterious river monsters that may be lurking in in its depths. There is an animal in this country that excites the admiration of all who have had an opportunity to view it, said one account of the Ogwa, Pombero. Let's travel to the woods in Paraguay, where a family noticed something strange lurking in the trees. In a video posted to social media, a young boy can be seen sitting at a table with his mother in the forest. But suddenly, their dog starts barking at the trees, and something begins to move behind them. First, a long claw or tentacle appears from behind a tree, similar to an elephant's trunk. But then, a large head and torso of an unknown creature can be seen protruding from behind the tree. Some speculate that this may be the elusive legend of the region, known as the Pombero. Described as a tall, hairy creature with a mischievous and lustful nature, the Pombero is said to kidnap beautiful women. While some believe this creature to only be a legend, this video has captured a possible sighting, leaving many to wonder if the Pombero truly exists in the woods of Paraguay. Other theories have suggested it could be an orangutan or even a bear, but the locals are convinced that it is the infamous Pombero. While the woods of Paraguay might seem like the last place a cryptid would hide, this mysterious and terrifying footage has us questioning what else might be lurking in the shadows of the trees. Wolfman. Hello, this is Scott Carpenter. Uh, we were getting ready to enter the area where I had my dogman encounter. Let's travel to Tennessee, where a photographer and amateur Bigfoot researcher captured footage of a strange and terrifying creature lurking in the woods. The footage, which has now gone viral, shows a mysterious animal standing on its back legs, measuring over six feet and five inches tall. The photographer, Scott Carpenter, claims that this is no ordinary animal, but a werewolf-like creature known as the dogman. According to local folklore, the dogman is a seven-foot-tall, blue-eyed, canine 
canine-like animal with the torso of a man, and it's said to howl like a fox. This sighting is not the first of its kind, as many local residents have claimed to have seen this mythical creature over the years. According to many commentators and experts, this footage does seem legitimate and like it's not altered in any way, making it even more unsettling for viewers. While skeptics suggest that the creature could be an ape or bear, others believe that it may truly be the legendary dogman roaming the woods in Tennessee. While the video might not be the solid evidence needed to prove the existence of this mythical creature, it certainly adds to the mystery and intrigue surrounding the dogman and the woods of Tennessee. Many have urged caution for anyone venturing into these woods, as this sighting and the eerie video serve as a reminder that sometimes the most terrifying things are lurking right in our own backyards. Black Swallower with a name like the Black Swallower, it's no surprise that this deep sea creature made a list of terrifying things in the ocean. This fish has an elongated body that allows it to swallow prey larger than its own size, and it's believed that it has the ability to consume prey twice its size. The distressing part? The Black Swallower may not be able to digest these larger meals quickly enough, resulting in the fish's stomach decomposing along with its prey inside. This leads to the Black Swallower eventually exploding from the pressure in some cases. While usually found in the Caribbean and Atlantic, this fish may be lurking in the depths of the ocean, just waiting for its next oversized meal. And with its ability to swallow whole creatures bigger than itself, you can only hope that there are no black swallowers large enough to swallow a human whole. It's unlikely, but still a chilling thought. Ariana Trench Virus by now, everyone should have had enough experiences with viruses to last a lifetime. But what about a virus that is found at the bottom of the deepest part of the ocean? Scientists in China have recently discovered a bacteriophage virus at a depth of over 29,000 feet in the Mariana Trench, which is considered to be the deepest known point on Earth. This newly discovered virus infects bacteria in the phylum Halomonas and is believed to be the deepest ever discovered. Its existence raises questions about how viruses have adapted to survive in the most extreme environments on our planet. With such a limited understanding of the ocean's depths, it's no surprise that we continue to be amazed and scared by what we find there. But that's undoubtedly not the most terrifying part of this discovery. What makes it all the more unnerving is the fact that this virus could potentially infect humans. And while it allegedly won't kill its host, we can't help but question what other unknown viruses might be residing deep below the ocean's surface and what bizarre effects these might have have when released on unsuspecting surface dwellers. TikTok suitcase. What started as a fun adventure ended with a very grisly discovery. Let's travel to West Seattle, where a group of teenagers stumbled upon a disturbing discovery while filming a TikTok video. In the video, the teens can be seen exploring a beach and jokingly hoping to find some money as they joke about using an app called Randonaut to lead them to a treasure. Instead, they stumble upon a black suitcase lying on the rocks near the edge of a waterway. Curiosity getting the best of them, one of the girls decides to use a stick to open the suitcase, only to be met with an overwhelming stench. Inside, they find a black plastic bag that they believe might hold food or a dead body. So we can see if it's actually a dead body or it's just food. But their worst fears are confirmed when the police arrive and announce that the contents are actually human remains. This shocking discovery has left many wondering who the victim could be and who could have left their body in such a desolate location. To make matters worse, the police announced shortly after this harrowing finding that there were in fact several bags found in the same area with human remains inside. A TikTok challenge turned into a nightmare for these teens, leaving them with a story that they will never forget and a reminder that something things are better off left undisturbed in the depths of our rivers. By this point, we were getting a little scared and nervous, the caption of the video read, and it's not hard to see why. Kennel Veil vale Demon. Show us that you were here. Next, let's travel to the Creekside Woods of Kennel Vale in Cornwall, England, where a ghost hunter had a chilling encounter with an otherworldly creature, as a group of friends were investigating paranormal activity in the area. A box killing me. They were shocked to capture a strange creature on camera. The dark, humanoid figure appeared to stand on its own, then move and shift positions as if it were aware of its surroundings. The ghost hunter, Mark Davies, described the being as an alien or demon, believing it to be evil and not of this world. While some people may dismiss this as a hoax or manipulation, Mark insisted that the video is genuine and the smoking gun is the final clip that they captured. Watching the video, it's easy to see why. 
In the footage, a very strange silhouette can be seen standing on a bridge before seemingly moving and standing in different places, despite not being seen in person. You okay? Yeah. Stand in front of this bridge, please. Mark and his friends could feel a presence in the area, adding a chilling and mysterious element to this encounter. Afterward, when they reviewed the footage, the shocking realization that they hadn't been alone in the woods was enough to make anyone's hair stand on end. I always knew they existed, Mark said. I have felt them, smelt them, heard them, and now I have seen them. No one knows for sure what this otherworldly creature could be. But one thing's for sure, the woods of Kennel Vale hold a dark and chilling secret. Canada Giant. Let's take a trip to Canada, where a bizarre giant creature has been spotted in the woods, sparking panic among locals. The video, recorded by Audrey Frechette, shows the creature, which appears to be almost human-like, lurking in the background while a moose stands nearby. Many have compared the creature to the infamous Gollum character from Lord of the Rings, while others have suggested it could be the mysterious rake creature known for stalking and attacking its victims in the woods. Some viewers have even gone as far as to say it could be a relative of the Sasquatch, or Bigfoot, the creature seems to be bald and almost humanoid in nature as it stares at the moose and the individual recording the video from behind the trees. Frechette quickly recorded the video for evidence before she and her fellow park visitors quickly left the area in fear. She then uploaded the video to her YouTube channel where it gained hundreds of views and sparked intense discussion among viewers. Many of the viewers commented that it looked like Gollum due to its hunched posture and bald head, while others were terrified by the thought of it potentially being a real creature. Could it have been a rake, a Sasquatch, or something else entirely? Dead bodies. Let's travel to Long Beach, where over 10 years ago, a dead body was found floating in the ocean. What makes this case even more chilling is that the victim's identity remains a mystery to this day. Despite physical evidence, such as a Casio watch and Iron Man sunglasses, and estimates of the man's age and appearance, no one has come forward to identify him. It's a stark reminder of the vastness and unknown depths of the ocean and the mysteries that lie within. And while this might be one singular case, there are far more uncanny and unexplained occurrences of dead bodies found in our seas. Experts have estimated that there are hundreds of thousands of unidentified bodies in oceans around the world, making them a graveyard of sorts for those who are missing. Some theories suggest that these bodies could be victims of unsolved murders, victims of ocean-related accidents, or even people who may have disappeared during their travels. While each body may tell a different story, the terror of discovering a new body is enough to make anyone puke. Golden Orb Try, I think, uh, scraping it to the best of your ability with the manipulator and then suctioning what's okay. what we get. I just hope when we poke it, something doesn't decide to come out, one scientist said. It's like the beginning of a horror movie. Those were the words spoken about the mysterious golden orb found on the ocean floor off the coast of Alaska. The orb, which was discovered by a remote-controlled submarine explorer, has left scientists baffled and intrigued. The smooth object with a hole at the center could be a hatched egg from an unknown sea creature, or a kind of marine sponge. A team of researchers from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration tried conducting tests and DNA analysis to determine the nature of the orb, but to no seeming success. It has a delicate, skin-like texture, and when the submarine's arm touched it, it felt like tissue. Of course, these facts made many more conspiracy-minded viewers jump to the conclusion that this golden orb was proof of some horrifying undersea creature. Regardless of the orb's true nature, the mere thought of something alive awaiting discovery on the ocean floor is chilling. Black Sludge. There has been a major pollution incident at one of the world's oldest national parks. Some of the terrifying things found in rivers aren't actually the result of monsters or myths, but instead the result of human greed. Let's travel to Sydney's Royal National Park, where authorities were alerted to a shocking discovery in a usually pristine creek. When a man ventured to the park to take a run, he couldn't believe his eyes when he stumbled upon Camp Gully Creek, which had been turned a thick black sludge. Upon closer inspection, it was discovered that the source of the pollution 
was the nearby metropolitan colliery coal mine, which had spilled coal mining waste into the creek. This wasn't the first time the mine had a pollution incident, as they had been fined $15,000 just a few months prior. This terrifying discovery serves as a reminder that our actions as humans can have a detrimental effect on the environment and the creatures that call it home. In this case, a supposedly pristine and untouched area of the park had been ruined by the careless actions of a major energy company. Venturing to take pictures of the black sludge, the man was shocked by the thick, floating black husted that was covering the once beautiful creek. The photos and footage serve as a haunting reminder of the damage we are capable of causing to our natural world. Deep sea holes, meet Anne Helene Tanberg, who discovered one of the most terrifying and uncanny sights in the Pacific Ocean rows of holes on the seabed. These holes were spotted at a depth of 3,500 meters in the Bering Strait, and they left scientists baffled. Even more fascinating is the fact that these holes weren't a new discovery. A similar phenomenon was spotted two decades ago in the Atlantic Ocean by a Norwegian research ship. These deep sea holes, also known as trace fossils, raise many questions and theories about their formation and purpose. Some speculate that they could be formed by a specific type of worm or predatory animal, while others suggest they could be caused by gas explosions. The evidence and research are still ongoing, but this eerie find reminds us that there is still so much we don't know about the deep sea and the creatures that inhabit it. Are these holes just another inexplicable mystery of the ocean, or will we one day uncover the truth? With scientists unable to explain why these massive holes exist, we can only imagine that the answer is terrifying. Finland Beast. They haven't reposted or given us any idea of what they thought they caught in those photographs. Next, let's travel to Finland, where two friends stumbled upon a chilling discovery while testing out new camera equipment in the woods. They left their camera overnight in the hopes of capturing images of wild animals, but instead it disappeared and was later found in a backyard with a mysterious image captured on it. In the photo, three lights can be seen, resembling three eyes looking directly at the camera. Could this be a sighting of some elusive beast with three eyes that might inhabit those woods? While some have claimed that it's simply a reflection or a camera glitch, others believe it could be a three-eyed creature lurking in the dark, unknown depths of the woods. Could this be evidence of a new species or just a strange occurrence? The mystery remains unsolved, leaving us wondering what other secrets the woods may be hiding. According to the poster, the photo was out of focus, but in the second black and white image, the lights are clearly visible, adding to the eerie atmosphere surrounding this discovery. While the owners of the camera had hoped to capture images of wild animals, they ended up capturing something much more mysterious and potentially terrifying. There's no question that the men who captured these photos probably won't be venturing into the woods in the dark anytime soon. Cannibal jellyfish. Characteristic of a jellyfish. I mean, that is a Layla, jelly. Okay? Let's travel to the Pacific Ocean, where scientists recently filmed a terrifying new species of jellyfish preying on its own kind. This cannibal jellyfish, belonging to a very small family of jellyfish, was spotted hunting other gelatinous animals over 1,400 meters below the surface. With its eerie brown coloration and specialized rays, it's clear that this creature has evolved to hunt and consume other jellyfish. This discovery sheds light on the important role that jellyfish play in the ocean's food chain and also highlights the never-ending surprises and mysteries that await us in the depths of our seas. There's no question that this bizarre jellyfish seems to point toward a deeper, darker world below the surface, where creatures we never knew existed are constantly feasting on each other to survive. Who knows what other terrifying creatures may be lurking in the deep sea, waiting to be discovered and studied? Human Toothfish Check out those sharp teeth. While this bizarre fish was later identified as a wolf eel, it's still terrifying enough to make anyone squirm. The fish, caught by Russian deep sea fisherman Roman Fedortsov, looks like something straight out of a horror movie with its human-like teeth and menacing appearance. And it's not just its teeth that make it look monstrous, as the eel's size and overall appearance are enough to give anyone the heebie-jeebies. While wolf eels are not uncommon in the deep ocean, this particular fish certainly stands out for its human-like teeth, making at one of the most disturbing creatures found in the deep sea. With a nice row of what appear to be human chompers, there's no question that this fish has a jaw that any dentist would envy, and it's definitely a sight that will stick in your mind the next time you take a dip in the ocean. Just imagining one of these bumping up against your legs while swimming is enough to make anyone want to stay on dry land. Ohio Crocodile. 
a shadow, and I could see its tail moving. Everyone knows the memes about Ohio, which have been spread virally online for years now. But what they don't tell you is that there may be crocodiles lurking in its creeks. In Bantus Fork Creek, a church group of children was playing in the water when they encountered a seven, five-foot-long crocodile in 2019. One moment, they were enjoying some summertime fun, and the next, they were staring into the eyes of a 171-pound predator that could have easily made lunch out of them. Thankfully, an adult spotted the crocodile and quickly got the children to safety, while a wildlife officer shot and removed the creature. Officials have no idea how the crocodile ended up in Ohio, as they are not native to the state, leading to wild speculations about escaped exotic pets or some sort of bizarre prank. No matter how it got there, one thing is for sure, Ohio is just as bizarre as some people claim. The discovery of this terrifying river creature shows that even in the unassuming flat farmlands of Ohio, there are secrets lurking beneath the surface. It was right over there, like I saw a black shadow, and I could see its tail moving, said one young girl who witnessed the crocodile. So, if you're planning a trip to Ohio and are thinking of cooling off in the local creeks, just remember, there may be a deadly crocodile lurking beneath the surface, waiting for its next unsuspecting victim. New England Meg While many believe this mysterious sighting to be a simply basking shark, let's take a look at a viral video shot off the coast of New England. The massive shark caught on camera by a group of research students has social media in an uproar as people question whether this could be a megalodon, an extinct species believed to have been the largest shark to ever live. With its slow and formidable movements, it's easy to imagine that this could be the terrifying creature from the past. Whether it's a basking shark or a megalodon, one thing is for sure, the ocean is home to some incredible incredibly large and awe-inspiring creatures that continue to amaze and surprise us. This video, which quickly went viral, was the topic of heavy debate, as some people claimed that it was simply a basking shark, while others remained convinced that it could be something much more mysterious and terrifying. Could this be evidence that the megalodon is still alive and well in the depths of our oceans? While it seems unlikely, the vast majority of the ocean does remain undiscovered. Gravity hole. So where exactly is this giant gravity hole? What is a gravity hole, and should you be afraid of it? The answer is absolutely yes. Deep beneath the Indian Ocean, geophysicists have discovered an area spanning over one million square miles with drastically lower gravity than the rest of the world. This means that objects and even people would weigh less in this area, creating a disorienting and potentially dangerous environment for any explorers. The cause of this phenomenon is still unknown, leading to theories ranging from shifts in the Earth's crust to a giant underwater black hole. Scientists continue to study this gravity hole, and it serves as a reminder that there is still so much we don't know about our own planet and the forces that shape it. But what makes this discovery so terrifying? Aside from being virtually unknown, it's also spawned many theories that because gravity is less here, creatures that are larger than our current understanding of biology could exist. Deep sea monsters and ancient beasts are just a few of the possibilities that come to mind. So if you ever find yourself in the Indian Ocean, you may want to keep your distance from this dark Haunting gravity hole. Lizard Man. There's no question that South Carolina is home to many mysterious legends and cryptids that come crawling from the woods. Sorry. <laughs> But a recent encounter has reignited the fear and disbelief surrounding one particular creature known as Lizard Man, first reported in 1988. They're usually between six feet, seven feet tall. The Lizard Man is said to be a seven foot tall reptilian humanoid with red eyes, a long tail, and sharp claws. Recently, new photos and video footage have emerged purporting to show the elusive Lizard Man roaming through the woods near Scape or Swamp. While some believe this to be nothing more than a hoax or a person dressed in a lizard costume, there are those who swear by their sightings and have been searching for evidence of this creature for decades. The first recent sighting took place when a woman was attending church and saw the creature running along the tree line. A day later, another person released a video showing a similar looking creature taken in the same area a few months prior. With more and more evidence stacking up, the mystery of Lizard Man continues to haunt the residents of South Carolina and keep people on edge in the woods. I saw your Lizard Man story and it's given me the courage to send you a video I took in early May, said an anonymous man who submitted footage of his mysterious encounter with the Lizard Man. Whether you believe in the Lizard Man or not, it's hard to 
deny that the woods of South Carolina hold some unexplainable mysteries that continue to baffle and terrify those who dare to venture into the shadows. Alien spaceship. Could the sonar image actually be evidence of an underwater spacecraft of extraterrestrial origin? Let's head out into the great ocean with a Discovery Channel treasure hunter who claims to have found something even more out of this world than sunken treasure. Daryl Miklos, host of the show Cooper's Treasure, discovered a massive extraterrestrial structure 300 feet below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida. The structure, which is believed to be the size of a football field, features 15 long arms and is covered in coral that experts estimate to be thousands of years old. It's unlike anything Miklos or his team has ever seen, and they believe it could be an alien spaceship. This discovery is fitting for Miklos, who had been using maps made by his late friend, NASA astronaut Gordon Cooper, to search for shipwreck treasure in the Caribbean Sea. But it's a treasure map from space. Cooper, a strong believer in extraterrestrial life, gave Miklos the treasure map before his death. This is it. He was identifying shipwrecks. For claiming to have seen UFOs during his time in the Air Force. And with the map aligning with these very real, unexplained objects, is this finally proof of aliens? Barrelai. It would be easy to dismiss the barrel eye as another completely normal fish. Take a closer look. This deep sea creature has a clear dome-shaped head with tubular eyes inside that are able to rotate in all directions. This allows the barrel eye to constantly keep an eye out for potential prey, even when it's swimming upside down. But perhaps the most terrifying thing about this fish is its mouth. Its translucent body reveals a set of sharp, pointy teeth that are designed to devour its prey whole. With its unique appearance and predatory abilities, the the Barrelai is certainly one of the most fearsome and mysterious creatures of the deep sea. While this fish lives deep enough in the ocean that you're unlikely to ever meet up with one as you go for a swim, the very uncanny experience of knowing that this fish exists is scary enough on its own. Who knows what other creatures are lurking beneath the surface of the ocean, waiting to be discovered. Soviet tank. <laughs> Let's travel to Russia, where divers and military experts came together to make an astonishing discovery from the depths of the Don River. In 2016, the fully intact Wodyu T-34 Soviet tank was recovered from the river after sitting at the bottom for over 60 years. It was a remarkable find, as these tanks were typically destroyed in battles with Germany. This tank was entirely intact, almost as if it had been placed there yesterday. Even more eerily, there were no bodies found inside the tank, despite it being fully operational. This this discovery provides a window into a time long gone and raises many questions. How did it end up in the river? Who was operating it? If no bodies were found in the tank, could it be that the tank somehow came to rest in this river by entering some sort of time portal where it could have been pulled out into the future? Whatever the explanation is, this Soviet tank pulled from the depths of the Don River remains a mystery and a chilling reminder of the horrors of war. The tank, seemingly completely unharmed, just goes to show that rivers hold many secrets Secrets, and not all of them have been revealed yet. Bodies. Discovery of the torso of a young African boy floating in the River Thames in London. The River Thames is one of the most beautiful and tranquil rivers ever, but it's also a place you should never, ever swim. Every week, the remains of at least one person are discovered floating in the Thames. In 2001, the torso of a young boy was found near the Tower Bridge, with his arms and legs cut off and traces of poison in his system. Police determined that this was a ritual killing, and the victim was thought to have been part of a human trafficking ring. This haunting discovery, along with hundreds of other bodies found in the Thames over the years, served as a reminder of the dark side of human nature and the mysteries that still lie hidden in the river. It's a chilling thought that someone could be peacefully walking alongside the river one day and suddenly stumble upon a body, a victim of violence, a tragic accident, or other unknown circumstances. In another case, a body was found in the River Thames that was mutilated and missing its hands and feet, leading to speculation of yet another ritual and foul play. While most of these discoveries are reported as suicides, there are still some cases that remain unsolved and continue to haunt the local community. Until we can identify him and his family, we will act as his family, said Commander Andy Baker, in an attempt to humanize one of the many victims found within the river. 